Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are we on? We're on. Normally, I've just been smiling. Normally does a thing. <laughs> normally yep. does a thing. I, look at me, the playback. I'm yep. just smiling <laughs> like a weirdo. <laughs> what a good way to start. Hello. <laughs> what an excellent start on this rainy, dreary Sunday afternoon in Kentucky. Yeah. Wow. Great start, Chad. Uh, hi, welcome. It's Bourbon Night. Uh, <laughs> this is Chad. I'm Chad. This is Sarah. I'm Sarah. And Perry. Hey guys. Is over here in the wings. Uh, here. Talk again, Perry. I'm here, okay. and I'm I'm on I'm on good. the stream. Good. We got you. We got you. We got you. There he is. Oh, well, this is gonna be one for the record books, oh, guys. Yeah. I can already tell. So, and to pile on, uh, Sarah is a little under the weather. Yeah, not feeling so good. She's powering through, um, but since we do have Perry here. We might do some tag team swap outs. Swap in, swap out. Yeah, um, but this episode, you know, with it being the last one before Christmas, it's actually the tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Uh, we're gonna do some holiday-ish type stuff. We got some some rides. We got the return of a midwinter's night dram. Uh, it sounds so threatening. The return of <laughs> the return of. We Back have. In the habit. Uh, Jim Beam Hot Toddy, which we bought, and if Sarah is feeling up for it, yeah. she's gonna go make one, and then we're gonna compare and see, you know, if we can uh, recommend this or just say just make it at home, don't be lazy. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's what we uh, that's what we got going on. Um, just gonna be very loose, fun, you know. Go ahead and put on the stretchy pants type of episode, yeah, because you're gonna be eating. Oh, I've been wearing the stretchy yeah. pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, Chris said tomorrow is Christmas for some people already. Oh, yeah, because oh. of, yeah. you know, the time difference. The time so. difference. It's tomorrow in Australia. So, happy God. Christmas Eve from How the future. They know the future. In that time zone. Yeah, it's so yeah. weird. Um, oh, thanks. You guys are being so sweet. Yeah, right. I just can't seem to shake this ear infection that I had last weekend. So. It's getting worse, <laughs> I think. But yeah. we'll get we'll get over it. The yep. bourbon, the hot toddy should help, right? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, kind of like that's what uh, it's for. <clears throat> you know, I've told this story before. Um, when I would have a scratchy throat as a kid, my mom would make sort of like a, a hot toddy, um, just homemade cough syrup, really, a cough or a sore throat. Um, Chad had a lot of sore throats. Yeah, I did. That's, it, well, yeah, it's funny. And I, I don't know. I've told this before, but at first I was like, oh, I don't like that. And then one day I was like, you know what? Let's Let's get that, let's get that homemade recipe again. That was good stuff. Yeah, that was good stuff. I think she also put some vinegar in it, which is you know just vinegar, the healing power of vinegar. Mm. Let's go ahead and do a uh, sample shout out. We have one this week. And we don't really know who to shout out. Yeah, but this is a lovely Blanton's uh, stopper holder, and you'll you can put a bottle of Blanton's right here in the middle. You can have all the B L A N T O N S. Oh, we're going to do that. Yeah. Um, oh, some good spelling. So, well, thank you. That was good spelling. And right off the bat, Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson. All right, Stephen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll get it. Okay. 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 I'm just going to do as little it. as possible today. Okay. I'll just go down into the basement. Chad, don't do it. <laughs> Did you fall? He broke bottles. Oh, oh good. my gosh. I'm just going to get back up from the basement. Come come they can see you. I'm coming upstairs. This is the most <laughs> no. pathetic thing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, there we go. Ah. Wow. I guess we should, I mean, we can't toast. I think it says more about me, though, because I like you a lot, and <laughs> yeah. you do stuff like that. Look at her life choices. <laughs> what? A, where did I go wrong? Um. <laughs> should he take the elevator? <laughs> Next time I will. Y'all are funny. Uh, this is a little bit off topic, but I wanted to talk about it because it's a little topical. This is Michter's US1 Small Batch Sour Mash. Yes. Whiskey, which, uh, hold on, can't do two things at once. Can't tell a story I'm poor. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the, oh look, it fits the Blanton's thing. Cute. How about that? Uh, this was Steve, right? Yes. Steve? Steve. Steven. Steven, Steven Jackson. Steven. Happy holidays to you, sir. <coughs> Cowbell cheers. Steven also had a question. What's oh. your question? He wanted to know uh, where and uh, how he could send you guys something. Oh, ah, well, Stephen. I missed that part. <laughs> uh, you can please send us an email at itsbourbonite at gmail.com, and that's when where we uh, give out a uh, shipping address. Thank we you, thank you so much for that question. That's uh, very kind. This one, Whiskey of the Year from uh, Whiskey Exchange. <laughs> so you can at Thanks them, here. at whiskey without an E, 
at Whiskey Exchange on, uh, this was on Instagram, and Swan brought this to our attention. And actually, Swan, the bourbon finder, at the bourbon finder on Instagram, brought this over for us to try. Pam's so, here. Hey, Pam, we just saw you. Thanks. Pam made me breakfast. Yeah. She's the best. So we thought we would give this a try. She's not going to be happy about this, though. I told her I would be good. Perry's going to switch on. Don't worry. Also, this is for Pam. It's, yeah. It sounded like you just argued with yourself there. I did, because I could hear her through the internet <laughs> saying, I told her not to have any bourbon and not to be on the show today, but... She looked right at that lens, and the lens became Pam. I And the lens her. went... <laughs> like Marge Simpson. Yep. That's um, exactly what happened. Yeah. Pam is my mom. Anyone who doesn't I'm, know. I'm being rude, and I... Didn't pour Perry one? Didn't pour our moderator, Perry, oh, yeah. the Pear Bear. Hello. Per Perison. Another Ooh, super chat. Tony. Tony! Iowa Thanks, represent. Tony. Iowa represent in the house. Cowbell cheers. for me. Sorry. Right. Hey, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, this smells really musty. Mm -hmm. So this is a, uh, this is a whiskey. Um, it's a small batch. Of course, they use a sour match, sour mash method, just like a lot of bourbons. Um, it's then, uh, okay, so it, uh, they use a the sour mash method and then it's further mellowed by their signature filtration. And I wonder if that signature filtration is the thing that takes it out of the legal category of bourbon. Mitch! What? Mitch! Another super chat. For the Ceratotties. For, Sar for, <laughs> for the Ceratotties. Well, thank you, hey, Mitch. And Michael Ram. Dang, you And Michael Ram. <laughs> it's his first live stream as a patron. Ah, Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for helping me expand my bourbon choices. Merry Christmas to both of you. Merry Christmas to you and the SEC does rule. And Thank you, Michael. Eric Schwab now, too. Eric Schwab. <laughs> Mike, for Michael. This one's for oh. Michael. See, I'm not with it today. And this one's for Eric Schwab. Thank you, Eric. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas uh, and to Swan. you. Swan. Swan, the <laughs> bourbon finder with the hope you feel Swan's better, Sarah. Yes. Because <laughs> it's your bottle. Just so you guys know, the Jaegerbaum option is off the table today. There, yeah, it's uh, well, it's a holidays. You wouldn't want to do that. To Ryan me. said ten dollar Jaegerbaum. I know. Oh, I saw. No, no, <laughs> off the table today. <laughs> Not feeling it. And Matthew. Pretty sure I'll throw it. It's Dang an on. Iowa takeover. Iowa in the wow. house. Do we have any Iowa bourbon? Nope. We got to change that. Yeah. All right. All right. We need some Iowan bourbon. I'm gonna talk about this because it's uh, so musty. It tastes a little musty too. The and caramel's it's, uh, off. It's 86 cold, proof. Mm. My taste buds are a little off today. Sure. <laughs> Whiskey of the year? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm skeptical. Yeah, I, don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I could have a chat about this <laughs> with somebody. I think it's not bad. Fairly unique. It is. It has some yeah. interesting. Points. It's like I feel like I'm debating this whiskey <laughs> for its p title. Like, good good counter arguments, but no. <laughs> uh, Travis said, "Yes, you do have some Iowa bourbon. He sent you some." <gasps> yeah, I was thinking we did Cedar that's, Ridge. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I asked. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not here today. Really. She's not. She's not here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought. I thought we did. Chad um, Holly, can we pre-purchase a Jaeger bomb for next week? Asking for a friend. I don't see why not. <laughs> sure. I feel like you. Then it's gonna be. That's gonna be even worse because then I'm gonna know it's coming all week. Well, you can prepare mentally. You can. Do, <gasps> I train for it. Physically. <laughs> well, I was thinking like you could. I don't know why running is involved with. You, could, you can make a, a large shot, mm -hmm. and then just, you know, like a allergy shot. You could just take a little bit every day to like build up your top your uh, immunity. Oh, for... that sounds terrible. <laughs> Ugh. All right. You get like an alarm every of, hour. No. <laughs> Ugh. Pull out like a flash. Like power hour with myself or something. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. terrible. Um, yeah. Uh, some people are asking how my trip was to New York. It was awesome. Uh, I think it's probably the reason why I'm still sick though. Um, had a great time. Went to an awesome place called Momofuku and met the director of culinary operations at the bar. He bought me a Michter's uh, 10 year rye. And uh, those Perone things, it's a wine aerator. So you can go look on my, ins my personal Instagram, is <laughs> Will Work for Bourbon. And if you want to see what that looks like, it's fun. It um, looks fun. It is fun. I wasn't there. He wasn't there. Yeah. Um, went to a milk bar and had some delicious ice cream. And mm. So explain milk bar, it sounded pretty cool. Um, okay, so they make ice cream, 
but the milk that they use or to make the ice cream is infused with cereal. So it's literally cereal milk ice cream. So it sounds and like... And they put cereal on it too. It sounds like they cereal mellow it. Like they run it through... Yeah. <laughs> tightly packed tightly cereal. Tightly packed layers of cereal. Of cereal. Maple cereal, maybe. I didn't um, see the tree. <laughs> it's my one regret. Oh. I didn't get a chance. Well, we'll go back. Yeah. At Christmas. Because we, we got, got lots of people to hang yeah, out with, Yeah, we got lots too. of people in New York yeah. to tag up with. And we need to go to D.C. Um, so we have some plans. I don't know about Whiskey of the Year, but it's good. It's all right. It's all right. We it's, actually it's okay. didn't get to finish. So this was sent to us. Dave, what's up? First time on the live stream. Welcome. Um, welcome, Dave. Thanks for joining us from the Blanton's Shop. I think it's just blantonsshop.com. Uh... Um, someone said, what kind of Came in this. aerators were those? It's called a Perone. It's Italian. I don't know. Yeah. But it was fun. Looks like a little whiskey bong. Blanton's or Bla Bourbon Shop. Or a wine shop. bong. Yeah. So whoever sent this to us from the Blanton's Bourbon Shop, thank you. Yeah, thanks. It's lovely. What a treat. We enjoy. I'm going to put my LMDW right, right there. there. There you go. Nice. Like. That's right. So, yay. Yay. So, yeah, let's get... Uh, Are you ready for me to make your hot toddy now? Do you want to do the toddy? I kind of want one, actually, okay. at this point. Let's like, do a toddy. All this like talking is making me hurt. So what you have to do is, just like tag team rules, you have to tag tag in Perry. Okay, <laughs> now you can switch. It's 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 the rules and uh, no chairs. Uh, oh, there's no chairs. There's You know, it's Damn. not a chair match or a ladder match or a cage well, match. What are you talking about? Wrestling. It's wrestling stuff. Oh. Hi, everyone. Hey, look, it's Perry. <laughs> hey, it's me. He's... What's funny is I, you were on my, my stream this week, too. That's right. I was. Yeah. 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 YouTube.com slash uh, this is my bourbon podcast. Wow. It just comes on for the plugs. I almost, <laughs> I almost said it's bourbon night. Whoa. And, and hello. we got a couple here. Yeah. Uh, whoa. whoa. Okay. Let's scroll up and yeah, you can scroll up sure there. Sure thing. Um, Let's see what we got. So, so we got Travis. I, I'm out of... Well, I'll just cheers with my empty glass. <laughs> um, said this live stream is brought to you in part by Bourbon Drinkers of Iowa. Drink more corn whiskey. So cheers to cheers Travis. Travis. <laughs> um, that was a little hard. I'm sorry. It's all right. uh, it's your Jeffrey, first cowbell. you're right. Uh, so I got an early Christmas gift in the form of Weller 12. Merry Bourbon Night to all and to all a good day. Ah, uh, cheers to you, Jeffrey. And then Brian Brennicky, Brian Brennicky said, can't stay for the whole stream, but wanted to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Merry Tell Tammy said we, we said Merry Christmas, too. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Cooper also said, hi, Perry. Not nearly as good looking, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's yeah. So much, beard. <laughs> so much beard. That's, that's why. <laughs> that's why Sarah's wearing the ring, and I'm. Oh, I'm wearing one too, but it's yeah. my wife's. For someone else. <laughs> it's not Chad's, you mean? No, no. But you guys are so close. I know. Well, I got him a bourbon barrel ring, you know, just from the barrel, so mm -hmm. you can just like hula hoop with that thing. It's so big. <laughs> so big. I have a question. Yeah. How do I know what kind of glass to put this hot toddy in? Like, Ooh, I feel like question. I want to put it in a coffee mug, but then they won't be able to see it. You should put it. Oh, yeah, that's good question. Um, I feel like if it's hot, it's got to be served in a mug. I, I think, think so, so, too. Let's do mug. Yeah. Okay. Actually, would you... You want those Knob Creek mugs? Is yeah, it too small? that'd be great. Okay. Um, I guess we should taste this one hot then, too, just to be... It doesn't say. Well, all right. Now, actually, it says serve warm and enjoy. Okay. <laughs> if Perry had a scarf, how could we tell it wasn't Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bill also said it's tag team. Perry could be out at any second. It's true. It's true. We, we just don't know. <laughs> uh, Steve said yes, a coffee mug. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oplansky, I'm I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> what? He goes a wife. What? So surprising. Who? Who? Do you who? listen to the podcast? Is that why <laughs> you're saying that? <laughs> Eric said, does Chad know Perry? Do I know you? Nice to meet you. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's great. Great. Great being in your thanks, living room. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> thanks for coming on Lean the show. on set. Yeah. Uh, we also, I was just kind of thinking Christmas, birthday, depending on your uh, religious beliefs, but so Holidays, I also have uh, this year's birthday bourbon, which is on our own proof. Have you had this yet? Yeah, I had it with Dixon. Did you? Yeah, when he was on the show. Nice. Yeah, it's very good. So we have this as well. In fact, while we're waiting for the toddy, 
You want to just pour? Let's do it. Pour some of this. Sure. All right. We going fresh glass? Yeah. Oh, oh, and we have pudding. bourbon bread pudding. Mmm. We're getting a shadow there. Ooh, there sorry. That's, that's all right. <laughs> I have a big head. Oh. Woo. Nice. Nice, nice, a nice. Pop. Uh, we also have on the table the new proposed rules for bourbon that, that we could talk about, but I think that would be better when we have someone back in the control seat to kind of look at, uh, so we're not just reading off <laughs> the computer <laughs> the whole time. But that's also on the table if you guys want to talk about that. That is something that uh, can be done. Not really in the in the holiday spirit, but uh, it is topical. Or we could hold that one off till uh, till next time. Up to you guys. I can always change the title of the show. I'm just here for the <laughs> bourbon. Right. Well. <sighs> Never quite loved Birthday Bourbon's nose. No, I haven't really either. Yeah. And this is really no different, despite the fact that the palate, from what I remember, um, is pretty enjoyable. Mm -hmm. The nose is like cherry, really cherry forward. I would say, kind of like an, a, 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 what am I trying to say? I don't know. Um, What's he trying to say, folks? Fake cherry. If you know what Perry's trying to say, put, put it, it in, in the, the comments, comments down below. <laughs> um, no, I get you, and kind of the bad thing about it is it sort of has a artificial cherry. Thank you. That Why couldn't Smell. I think the word artificial? I don't know. <laughs> it's like an AI without the I. <laughs> so it's just an A. Um, yeah, and that immediately, you know, would make people say, so you're saying you hate it because you're calling it artificial. Not necessarily. It's just you you can tell the difference between natural fruit flavors. Yeah. Uh, cherries are fruit, right? Please don't tell me it's a vegetable. Pretty sure it's a fruit. Okay, yeah. I never get those things right. I don't need to have my mind blown to bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and something that's artificial, like a, what, cough drop or gum or even like... Cherry candy. Bitters or, yeah. you know, any, anything like that. A, um, mm -hmm. a cherry liqueur. And no, that's a good point, too. I definitely get sort of that artificial. Or it could be sort of a musty. It could be cherry. Oh, Okay. An old Dusty cherry? Cherry that's been stored in boxes? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but but it, it's so funny, though, because it doesn't really seem like there's anything else there to it. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, there might be a little bit of, like, maybe a, a chocolate note, but even then I can't really put my finger on it enough to even definitively say it's in there. And it might just be this kind of artificial sweetener smell. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized my... Wine maybe maybe some brown sugar. I mean, I, I get some sweetness, uh, and that might kind of be like a brown oh, sugar, a or bit. at least just sure. a sugar type of smell. But let's see what uh, what we got going on taste wise here. Are you sure this is this year's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this does not taste how I remember it. See, and that's what we've also ran into. Uh, what was it, last year's? Mm -hmm. You brought over yours. Now, yeah. there, there were two different proofs last year mm -hmm. by like point oh, it was like four. Yeah, something ridiculous like that. Maybe point five, I don't know. Um, and your birthday bourbon tasted maybe two times better than yeah. ours. Uh, <laughs> no Texas house there has not been replaced. <laughs> yeah, for those of you just joining us, Sarah yeah. is actually uh, making the three of us a hot toddy. Yay. Well, actually, this is the Jim Beam hot toddy coming up here. So are they warm? All yeah. nice and toasty? It is warm. Are they hot? Nice. Are they toddies? Here's the other thing, though. It's funny because this is how it seems like I have experienced oh, Old you. Forcer. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Old Forcer just kind of in general. It's always been kind Not of... so in, consistent? Yeah. And one one point in particular is actually, I don't think I've ever had Old Forester 1920 on multiple occasions and thought, oh, this is exactly the same bourbon that I had last time. <laughs> it's from the same bottle or different bottles? Same bottle. Mm. It's always stumped me. So you think for some, some things are, are changing? Uh, I guess so. It shouldn't be changing that much in the in the bottle, should it? No. See, that's that's my thing. Maybe it's just that. You know, Old Forester is kind of an inconsistent brand. Brown Foreman might, you know, just be inconsistent altogether too, but look, th this is not bad, I would say. Mm -mm. 
it's no, it, I, I I enjoy it. Yeah, it's still very cherry forward. I think on on the palette, medium ish finish. Not really too much of a hug, even at the proof. I mean, yeah, it's 101 but, proof, and it's not really feeling like it. No. Like, if you think, what if I was drinking a Wild Turkey 101, or mm -hmm. a um, Johnny Drum, yeah. or something like that. It Much more of an umph, uh, you know, spice. A punch. A punch, yeah. Barrel, and of course, you know, they do char their barrels for, for a shorter amount of time. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like that might be the reason that I don't always latch on to the brand, but um, I don't know. I don't know. But no, it's good. It's definitely the best that I've had of recent years. You know? I think so too. Mm -hmm. I, but, you know, I, I remember talking pretty highly of it before now, and now I'm just kind of like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> but I do love the kind of the whole novelty behind the birthday parties too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. they're always 12 years old, they always come out. Uh, on George Garvin Brown's birthday, which is in November, uh, right? September. Yeah. Is it? Sep November or September. All right, are we uh, getting a word from our producer? Yeah. Uh, I'm realizing I don't have one of those earpieces <laughs> in my ear. And I'm just touching my ear. Um, and uh, yeah, so there is definitely something behind the, the uniqueness of it. Yeah. But. But right now, we have the Jim Beam. Do you have it? Oh, well, okay. Never mind. Do you want me to tap back out? Maybe. Okay. Do you need help? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> we got some hot liquid coming in. I don't want to reach over the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, buddy. I hope it's good. <laughs> Thank you. Proud Boy Drew said, are you guys the bourbon knights? Knights? Knigets. Knigets? Yes. We are the bourbon knigets that say knee. <laughs> we are no longer the knights who say knee. <laughs> Do you know what they change it to? Can you say it? No, I can't. Oh, shoot. I used to. It's something like icky, 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 icky whoop, ding. Yeah, no, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yes. something like okay. that. Okay. Switch. Tag back. Okay, I'll leave this one. I'll be back, I think. <laughs> and can you bring the Jim Beam yes, bottle back? Yes, I can bring that. Yes, sir. Here, you sit down, sir. <laughs> this is totally. Did you guys tag? Uh, no. Want to keep it legal. Also, you have a uh, super chat. There. Ooh. Oh, TNT's blue corn. TNT Blues Corner. Oh, thank you. Everyone's thank being you so really much. Sweet. Merry Christmas. Get well soon, Sarah. And hey, Perry. <laughs> oh, hey, Perry. Oh, hey, Perry. Hi, TNT. TNT Blues Corner. Check out his YouTube channel. Thank Subscribe you. to him. Watch his videos. Yes. Careful. I didn't have put the cat back on this. Okay. So. Oh, that's why, because I didn't have it. You didn't have it. <laughs> so in our Star Wars mug, in our DC, DC mug, we have Jim Beam Hot Toddy. This was, what did I pay for this? $15, I believe. Oh, it $16. smells awful. It's a seasonal release. Uh, <coughs> it's made with Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. They ask you to serve it warm. They also ask you to enjoy. And it's, it's 35 proof. I can't drink that. <laughs> oh, it just tastes like a cocktail. Like not a No, like Oh, it's bad. <laughs> sugar and a lot of lemon. A so lot much lemon. A lemon. Barry's face is scared. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, I need no. an adult. <laughs> this is not a hot toddy. This Sorry, is, Jim Beam. This is not a hot it's toddy. It's so overly sweet. Wow. Blech. Okay, so this says Notes of honey. No, smacks of honey. of honey. Yeah, literally. <laughs> honey smacks. Slaps. Remember that cereal, honey smacks? Of honey. Uh, cinnamon spice and bright citrus. No. Paired with smooth bourbon whiskey. Oof. Uh, fill a few mugs. Enjoy with a cinnamon stick. Don't and do your it. Friends. Ugh, yeah, they'll be your enemies if you give them this. Yeah, this is not. Nope. Good. I'm going to switch. Yeah, it's, Ooh, that's a, hot. it's a no from me, Clark. Yeah. Okay, this is hot. Oh, wow. thanks, Gene. Um, Burr. Jeff. Jeff Wimbush? Yes. Cheers, Jeff. I didn't want to Sorry, spill. that was a very weak cowbell. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Jeff. But he this says, is 
To the brim. Perry, that deserves some Christmas cheer. Cheers. <laughs> uh, does he look like... <laughs> Maybe. What? Uh, Troy Forsh uh, thinks that I look like a young Fred Minnick. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. The mash and drama is also in the house. Merry Christmas, hey, guys. Jason. Great things ahead for you. Merry Christmas, Perry. Thanks, buddy. There Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank, Thank you, mash you, and Jason. drama. All right, so this is Sarah's hot toddy. Mm. Better, but still not my favorite drink. Much better. But just miles better. Oh, miles oh, better. Yeah. Miles better. But like still a little lemony for me. I think maybe I'll put a, I only put like a squeeze of lemon. I only had half a lemon to split right. between the three of them. So tell them the recipe Kay. that you did. Um, it's a tablespoon of honey with two ounces of bourbon and um, a squeeze of lemon. And then I just boiled some water and poured that in and mixed it up. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna drink this because it's making my throat feel better. Yeah. I am not gonna drink this because no. it makes me feel terrible. Yeah, we should just put that about over, my life over there in general. And your, and your decisions in general. And my decisions. Um, so again, this is 35 proof. This we used the Jim Beam repeal, repeal. batch, which yeah. is 100, right? Mm -hmm. It's 100. Mm -hmm. oh. No, it's 86. No, it's 86. You're yeah. right. It's 86. I knew I picked it for a reason. So because I figured they were probably putting oh. white label 80 proof in this one. Because they're proving it down 35 anyway. So with the water added to this, we're guessing it's around the same proof. Probably. I could break out the hydrometer and we could do it. I don't think we need to get all into that. Okay. <laughs> around the same proof, though. Sarah killed Batman. <sighs> what? You killed Batman, apparently. Am I Batman? Batman just had to say Martha. Maybe they're talking about the mugs. Yeah, probably. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I said. He didn't say Martha. Why'd you You're say dead. Martha? Why do you know that name? Why do you know the name Martha? This is a plot That's point. your mom's name? That's my mom's name. Dude, <laughs> do we just become best friends? <laughs> yup. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Yes, they they say break out the hydrometer. What a dumb movie. Well, I feel like it's too hot to put too in hot. the hydrometer. We'll, we'll put it in there once this cools down. Mm. Oh, that's nice. This is in. Because it's glass. All day sipper. But it's still too sweet. I don't know. I, I have a more of a affinity for sweetness. You don't like I'm sweet, sweet things. I'm sweet already. Um, so, what do you think, Pear? Well, I definitely prefer the the homemade one. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the homemade one? I like it a lot. I am a big fan, anyway, of hot toddies. Mm -hmm. My preference, though, is instead of water, instead of hot water, use hot green tea. Green tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We like that variation too. Yeah. Um, and I do that uh, it, if I'm sick and at home. I mean, that is my go-to. Yeah. And yeah. I usually load up on honey, Carl too. Ivy. I guess that's technically what I make when I make hey, green tea with lemon and honey and put a shot of bourbon in it. Yeah, pretty much. A green tea toddy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Carl says, yeah. traveling for the holidays, just drop by to say hi, Merry Christmas, and happy holidays to all. Carl. Same to you, Carl Ivy. The I legend. saw your text, and I'm not ignoring you. I literally just got back in town, and I'm not feeling well. So... That's why I haven't gone back to you. Don't, don't think I don't love you. <laughs> I do. So, our recommendation would be to make one yourself. I, I even think the regular Jim Beam 80 proof, if you make it yourself, it's going to taste a lot better than this guy. Yes. So Don't do it. But what? Have you ever had, uh, and this question is for the whole table, have you ever, <laughs> in the internet, Great. Have, have you ever had a bottled cocktail that you've really enjoyed? Because hot toddy is a cocktail. Uh, yeah. the, the Jefferson's, the Jefferson's Manhattan. Manhattan isn't. I don't like Manhattan, so I'm like a little bit biased. But if I was going to drink a Manhattan, I would drink that one. I like the barrel proof one that we got to try. Mm -hmm. That one was oh, good. Well, oh, yeah, yes. the extra, oh, extra aged that, yeah. one. Mm -hmm. We had an well, extra aged. Oh, it wasn't barrel. Whatever the, it was. The trick to um, the Manhattan is to serve it chilled because it's a, it's a world of difference. If y'all found a. I uh, missed it. Hmm? Scroll up just a tad. Tad more. There it is. If y'all found a scotch you like, being a bourbon fan, I just can't. However, I tried Monkey Shoulder, and it's not too bad. We've I, tried that one, too. We found ones just like you that have been not, not too, too bad. bad. <laughs> but we're still, you know, it's just like when we started on rye. And this is a bad example because this is a, a low rye rye. But when we started doing some high ryes, it, Thank you, it took us a while to be like, oh, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> oh, Dave, uh, 
Kitter, Kitterman? I don't know. The slow and low rock and rye cocktail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are supposed to be really good. Mm-hmm. I've never had it. I'll tell you what's terrible, though. It's the Maker's Mark Mint Julep. Mm. You can get pre-mixed. Right. They have an old Forster no mint good. julep one, too. Do and, they? Well, it's just a mint julep bourbon. I don't think it's And like... then they have Evan Williams eggnog. I've heard, actually, that that's pretty good. Really? Evan Williams um, apple cider. Mm. That's true. It's but good. I just like to pour... Again, I'll just pour bourbon in my apple cider. I know. Like, it's like, how well, lazy are you people? <laughs> <laughs> not our audience. This is your punishment for being not, lazy. Not that's what you want. No, not you. Yeah. But of course not you. You brought this upon yourselves. Yeah. It's like... It's like when they sold cans of uh, Beam and Coke, or was it Jack and Coke? No, Beam and, they they have they Beam, did and, have Coke Beam now. and Coke. Yeah, yeah. 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 And don't they have it. like lime or something? I think they might still have that in Australia. Oh, ugh. Do they lime- still have that in Australia, Chris? If you're still on what the Beam and Beam and Coke? Coke? I see it in America. In can. Is this my water? No. Yes, that's your water. No, you okay. don't. I do. I saw it in Richmond recently. He's lying. Perry's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Off of half of a, a yeah. hot toddy. Oh, he's a lightweight. One sip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a cheap date. <laughs> Do you guys like these Knob Creek mugs? Because I really Freaking like them. I don't. Yes. Pay, uh, Swan gave them to us. Yeah. And uh, they they actually have the Knob Creek gift set at the liquor store. I've seen a lot of them, but I really like these mugs. Like I just picture a nice campfire with a blanket or something. It's really taking me there. Just pour. Uh, let's pour some Old Crow reserve in here, and it'll be foliage and shit, and we can there be outside. Go. There you go. <laughs> My mom bought me a leaves. It's Call called back. leaves. It's a candle from uh, Bath and Body Works, but I love the scent. And Chad looks at it, he goes, foliage and shit? <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's right. Speaking of Knob Creek, um, I sent a picture. I think they're changing their label. Should we? Have we looked into that? Has anyone looked into that? I have not looked into that. Yeah, I sent, I thought I sent it to the group. You did. I guess not. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, here it is. <gasps> What? Yeah. I don't know. I love it. I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could show this to you all. You can kind of kind of see. You can kind of see. Um. Yeah, it's. Now Chad's gonna make us save all of the old label knob creeks. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> he, he just knows. He agrees that I'm yeah. right. Yeah, probably so. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. Um. I'm fine with the old knob creek. Label. I How think the Joey new one is nice. If put that is all the one. football scores in oh the chat. Gosh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you win the day, sir. Say what now? Pal Joey just put all of the. Oh, uh, what's the going scores. on in the NFL? Yes, I That's love it. That's actually. We should put a ticker down here so people. <laughs> if only we could have one of those things. Yeah. We'll put the stock market numbers up there too. Yeah. I'll run it behind you just with cue cards. <laughs> this is making me hop. Yeah, down. it's hot. It's, all right, too. scarf. Sorry. Mm. That is tasty. That's, That's good. Much. I'm let, a fan, Sarah. I like the, it quite a bit. Thank you. Let that cool, and uh, maybe yeah. we can put it through the the uh, hydrometer. So, holidays. <clears throat> this is about the only time that I will drink this. It's true. This is a Midwinter's Night Dram. This is from uh, High West. And uh, it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in French oak and port barrels. Which leads us into a really good topic. That we talked about talking about. Oh, it does, yeah. Um, but in chat said we might touch on this. Um, <clears throat> the six new proposed uh, law changes to bourbon. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's potential. Like, it hasn't happened yet. So maybe this won't happen. But you wouldn't be able to say bourbon finished in anymore. It would have to just be, like, a finished whiskey. Yeah. It wouldn't be You couldn't put bourbon on the label. That's one of the rules. You couldn't put bourbon on the label. And the way I've always seen it... <clears throat> I just think it should be finished bourbon and mm-hmm. then, like, port wine and French oak casks. Yeah. So I still know it was bourbon, but it's... The bourbon's not first. The finish is first. Yeah. The way so, I've always seen it um, is... I'm going to pass. Oh, okay. Well, well, you can give Perry some. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm still I'm working on take this. one of these away. The way I've always seen it is it was bourbon, mm-hmm. and then they finished it in this other barrel. So it's a whiskey. <clears throat> Um, so you can't just say Angel's Envy bourbon. You will, because people abbreviate everything, but mm-hmm. if you were going by the letter of the law, you would have to say Angel's Envy bourbon finished in a port wine barrel. Yep. Like, you can't just say you can't bourbon just leave it and then at... put a period. Nope. Because then, no, it's not. It used to be. It was. Mm-hmm. And then, majority of its life. And then the last, you know, six months or whatever, 
it was stored in another container that wasn't a newly charred oak, never before used barrel. <laughs> so therefore it's not bourbon. Yeah. But so, you know, I kind of get it, but I think, um, I don't know, because then if, if you're legally required to take bourbon off of the label, then you can get even looser with, with the rules. what you do. Yeah. yeah. So you could maybe put it instead of it touching a never used oak barrel, you could put it in a used one that used to hold bourbon up until the time that you put it in that wine barrel or True. whatever. And then that's going to affect the quality. So I feel like it's almost a step backwards. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, I think just having bourbon on the label gives you, like if you're going to try a finished product, it at least lets you know like the baseline for quality that they were yeah. at and then they added the flavor. Yeah. Because... You're right, it, it technically can't be, because you are adding flavor and color. Mm -hmm. From wine especially. Like you could argue right. rum doesn't, but that's flavor but not color. But wine definitely adds both of those things. Right. So. Yeah. There you go. How do you all feel about it? Discuss. <laughs> so as a <clears throat> quick follow-up to the Knob Creek discussion, mm -hmm. yes, they are changing their labels. Most of the um, TTB work has been going on since October. Wow. October. And I can't believe that we haven't actually seen it until now. Dang. Being a graphic designer, though, I freaking love these new labels. <laughs> yeah. I think they are fantastic. It's, um, yeah. I'll get used to it. They are nice. I just don't have any problem with the with the current ones. Me but, too. You know, I guess every once in a while I just got to do a little refresh. I really like the Cast Strength Rye label mm -hmm. with the little copper button. I yeah, really I like, like that, that a lot. It's on the... Like um, buttons. It's on the... <laughs> what I do? Nothing. Okay. It's on the... Um, Twice barrel dry too. Yep. The little <clears throat> yep. button. Little button. It's real nice. Yeah. It's real nice. Real nice. Um and so what else is there? There's the <clears throat> uh the law against about the barrel size. So fifty three. Yeah, no more <clears throat> no more fifteen five point six, no more fifteen, no more twenty fives. Yep. It's all fifty three or in the fifty three realm. So uh, or nothing. I think that there's two sides to that debate. One side is good i'm glad that those small barrels are going away because tourist trap craft distilleries are popping up everywhere not all of them are tourist traps but you know what i mean and um they're rushing to get their product out and they're doing these small barrels and it's like 18 month old if even that sometimes it aged in these small barrels and then they want to charge you you know 80 bucks for it I understand that because starting up a distillery is very expensive, but an unknowing consumer, like again, a tourist or anyone who just doesn't know enough, doesn't know that that's going to impact the flavor because they tell you, oh, it speeds it up and, and it gets more flavor from the oak, but it does not taste the same as everything else. Like, Yeah, I think there's something to be said about aging uh, to do with the angel share. You know, that right. evaporation over time. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has a lot to do with it. And the other thing is, you know, we've, this is a subject that really interests me. So anytime I'm around a master distiller and I feel like I have time to ask him a question, him or her, I will ask, what do you think about the small barrel method? And everyone that I've gotten has been, uh, we tried it. It's too unpredictable. Yeah. You know, it's just, there's a lot shorter period of time where it's a sweet spot where yeah. you got to get it out. Uh, if you take it out too early, it's not right. If you take it out too late, it's just too much, too much oak. Yeah. And it's just too unpredictable. But there are ones out there, distilleries, craft distilleries, that say they know when to do it, and mm. they base their entire method around it. Yeah. And if they are, and they have no plans, because a lot of them have plans of starting in the smalls, and then moving up to the mediums, and then eventually moving up to the full. But some distilleries don't have that plan at all. They're mm. like, nope, we figured it out. In the small ones, and that's all we're ever going to do. Mm -hmm. So if that passes, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're either going to fold or be forced to go to the 53, and then they have to start all over again and figure that out. So that's the other side of the debate is if this law is passed, then it's going to kill a lot of craft distilleries who can't afford to wait the time it takes to have the to age 53 the barrel. Yeah, gallon barrel. And yeah. I'm, I'm kind of uh, – someone said – um, Jason Estelle said, I'd be okay if the barrel, if it was stored in a barrel smaller than 50, but the bottle would clearly have to state it. And I completely agree with that Yeah. because I know myself and I don't tend to like lean towards things from the smaller barrel, um, process. So I would know if I saw that, oh, okay, you know, I'm probably gonna pass on this one. Um, 
True. Again, I understand why they do it. And some people do have good products that come from that. For me though, I'm just, it's just not up my alley. Yeah. And I just know that. So Jason Whiskey Wise is heading out. He's going to go make some dinner, but he'll catch the rest, rest of the live stream on replay. Thanks. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, Jason Whiskey Wise. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? Let's turn to the whiskey here for a second. What do you think about this um, Act 4, Scene 7? It's so sweet on the nose. It is. I mean, that that's... It's a, it just is a very Spice. sugary... Spicy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's yeah. a holiday. Sugar cabinet. plum fairies. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually I was kind of leaning towards plum as a as a note too on my yeah. on my nosing. Like a plum pudding. I'll tell you what, it might just be the right day, the right time of year for me because mm. this is actually hitting some spots that I like. Hey, this is so yeah. Not Chad's bad. Not doesn't like it. Just it feels like a very seasonal. Pour. This is like the small barrel. There's this window for me to enjoy it, you know? <laughs> and I gotta pour this in that window. And if it's before or if it's after, I become blah, 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 blah. Mitch, you're hilarious. Mitch said, would a dram Freaking. by any other name smell as sweet? Oh, Freaking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I get Shakespeare. All right, while you guys discuss, cause you all are drinking the same thing, yes. I'm out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go heat up the bread pudding that I made oh, um, yeah. with that bourbon sauce. Now, are you prepared to give the recipe? I am prepared to give that recipe. Okay. I, you can do it. Well, after. I'll have to do it later. Yeah. But um, yes, so. Tag out. I like it. I'll tag in. This is actually pretty cool. This was, you know, probably something that we wouldn't have done unless we had such. Uh, extenuating circumstances, but it's kind of yeah. cool. I like the uh, the tag in, tag mm -hmm. out uh, live stream. It's pretty cool. Um, maybe next time we will do like a chair match. Oh, great, great. <laughs> you, can, you can definitely come back for that one. Sarah would take me. <laughs> I'd, she, I'd, I'd be dead. Well, you can't hit a girl. So, yeah. She would still beat me, Chad. Oh, I know. I'm saying, <laughs> and, and you wouldn't hit a girl, so, yes. I would not. Pal Joey with another update. No good. First quarter. Giants are up 27-21. Hey. That's, there's too many other ones to who, read. Who bet the spread? Who bet? Not me. <laughs> Steel cage bourbon night. <laughs> Steel cage bourbon night. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Mean Gene. <laughs> Perry the Pear Bear Ritter. <laughs> which is ideally not a very good wrestling name. It's really not. It's going down. <laughs> it's going downtown. I'm more of a Ric Flair guy myself. Woo! <laughs> I do that one away from the mic because I don't want to blow out our headphone listeners. <clears throat> oh no, now I've got a sore throat like Sarah. And it's Perry night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now it's just, just, you, just, yeah. I'm going to tag out just, just you, Perry. I don't know what to do with my hands. Are you ready? Bone saws ready. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> nice outfit. Did your boyfriend sew it for you? <laughs> that that line has not aged well uh, at all. No, from it hasn't. Movie. No. Mm -hmm. When did that come out? Two thousand, right? Two thousand. Uh, two thousand. I thought it was two thousand two. Because didn't they have to tra take the uh, trade centers out of the? Yes, they did. You're yeah. right. It's the first X Men came out in two thousand. Right. First Spider Man came out in two thousand two. Yep. There you go. What other nerd things can we talk about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure we'll get there. I'm sure we'll get there. Um, so yeah, so finished in French oak and port barrels. Um, I'm not getting the normal port-ish flavors that I don't like in some others. No. A Angel's Envy, actually. But that's the <laughs> bourbon, and this is a rye. Uh, rye whiskey. Yes. And I think what's nice about it, too, is that because you have the rye whiskey as the main component, then the sweetness that you get from the port seems to kind of smooth out a little bit of the edges of spiciness that comes from the rye whiskey. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I think that this is an incredibly well-balanced finished rye whiskey product. I don't know how we can actually say it anymore. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> see, it's a blend of straight ryes. So it's a So it's a whiskey. whiskey. It's a finished rye whiskey. It's a finished blended whiskey. I don't know what you would call this one. <laughs> it's just a midwinter's night dram. I okay, mean, it's fine. just like a category unto itself. Verily. Yay, verily. And thou. 
in other words, like that. Uh, oh, thank you, miss. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so, bourbon bread pudding. Is on the way. Is on the way. Yes. Funny story. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, this was made over at uh, Sarah's parents' house. And uh, we didn't bring bourbon for it to be made. Duh. Luckily, womp, womp. there was a present there that had bourbon in it. <laughs> mm. And it actually ended up being our pick uh, from Hops Ago, the uh, Russell's Reserve. Oh, no kidding. So that got used in the sauce. Now that's 110 proof. Normally, I'm like socks off. I think normally we put uh, 80 to 90, put the, um, I think we, a lot of times we use Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's always been great. So this is 20 points higher in the sauce. And, Hello. It, it, and it does have, has have a kick. Gary Edward. R.I.P. Macho, Macho Man. R.I.P. Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the fingers with it too. I'm, I got a tiny little bit left. All cool. right. All right. Cheers to you, Cheers. Gary. R.I.P. Macho Man, that is right. Boy, it is really hard to control that, uh, that cheers there, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a gentle touch. I mean, between Perry Pours and... <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you cleaning the spoon or are you scratching with it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is just the right shape. All right. Okay. It's fine. I just it was pretty... Sure. It was just funny. Sarah was cleaning a spoon off on her shoulder and I just... Wasn't sure what the. I was just making sure that that was a water spot. And it is. So. Yeah, it's just the right shape. You want a new non shoulder spoon? <laughs> no, I'm good. Shoulder good, spoon. thank you. Um, to kind of stick with, we've had a little bit of a of a. You didn't finish your story about the bread pudding. Yeah, it did. Oh. <laughs> it's 20 points higher in in proof than what we normally put in there, so it's sure. got it's got some kick. Uh, Punch. So since we kind of started with this Jim Beam. And we made our hot toddy with Jim Beam, and we're kind of talking about rye because rye is spicy and that's holiday and so on and so forth. I kind of combined the two and I brought out the Jim Beam rye. Now, pre pre prohibition style, which I guess means it was made in a speakeasy, you know, um, with a password. Wait, pre prohibition. Pre prohibition. So before speakeasies. Well, okay, Perry. <laughs> if you wanna. I'll split hairs with you, if Chad. If you want to do that, you can just tag out. <laughs> Sarah, come back. <laughs> I'm being kicked off the show. <laughs> so not in a speakeasy, because prohibition hadn't happened yet. Um, this is a lower rye rye, so mm -hmm. more like a high rye bourbon, except oh, legally it can't be. <laughs> oh, my. And I also wanted to put a value one on here. So, let's see. Oh, it smells so good. Let's see what you think about this guy. Have you, have you had this in a while? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Tag out? Mm -hmm. Tag in, tag out? Okay. Bye, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get up out of tears. <laughs> and Sarah tags back in! <laughs> oh, God! Hellfire and brimstone! That's what that one guy on. Goodness. WWF. I'm <coughs> really hurting my throat. Yeah, you need to stop that. Yeah, well, at least one of you has to be able to speak. I, yeah, That's true. so. You've got advent calendars to do. That's true. Yep. Two <clears throat> days left. So. <coughs> so my, uh, let's see, my stepbrother's wife. Yeah. Is awesome, first of all, Rachel. Um, but she was had never had bread pudding, and she was like, so what is it? And I'm like, well, it's bread soaked in milk and then like this. And she was like, so wet bread. And I was like, just try it. <laughs> yeah. It was cute. Um, it's Kentucky wet bread. She liked it, so. Oh. Kentucky straight wet bread. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's improved. Yeah, this is Well, really yeah, it's good. set up yeah. since this morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> he really likes it. Yeah. That's how I know if Chad likes his dinner or not. He'll just say, thanks, hon. Or he'll be like. <laughs> so whenever I'm like, did you like that? He's like, mm-hmm. I'm like, you're a liar. <laughs> Cause he didn't make the noise. Ugh. And you can't fake it either. I'll just have to be, I'll have what she's having. Mm hmm Every time. So tell them how you made this. Joseph! Joseph! I need to pour. For Sarah tagging back in. Oh, that's not mine. 
And that's not mine either. Okay. How did you know? I don't know. Oh, she knows. Okay. The light, the logo. Ah. I guess I just didn't even notice. Just like a man. <sighs> Doesn't pay attention to the details. <laughs> Never really deflated wow. me. <laughs> so Joseph says, for Sarah tagging back in, Merry Christmas to my favorite bourbon peeps. Ah, Merry Christmas, Joseph. Joseph. Merry Christmas, Joseph. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You I got, hope your you wife's a, doing well. You got a three cowbell cheers yes, there, you did. sir. Yes, you did. Yes, cheers to use, 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 and yours, and the Utes, and the two Utes. What's a Ute? <laughs> the two of what? <laughs> you know, Ute. Mm. So the way I make my bread pudding is actually like a lot of people like to use brioche bread, which is fine. It's like a lot fluffier, um, but I like to use cinnamon rolls. So I make a pan of cinnamon rolls and then tear them up in little pieces and then soak it in the egg mixture. <laughs> Hello. Utes. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. Ah, oh, Dan! Dan Hall! Oh, he said, just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Also, congrats on the engagement. Thank you all for the additional congrats this weekend. Yes. You guys are sweet. Thank you so I told much. Chad Cheers earlier. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers. I told Chad earlier, this is our first in Christmas as an engaged couple, and then I was like, it might be our only Christmas as an engaged couple, and he just looked at me like, are you gonna leave me? I was like, <laughs> do you know something I don't know? I was like, no, dummy. We'll be, we won't be engaged do, for forever. Do the math. Like, uh, he, just the look on his face, I mean, he was so And offended. it might be our last. Yeah, idiot. She said it like that, though. I know. <laughs> While she was rubbing her hands, she's like, and it might be our last. And she yeah. did the eyebrows. I was like, what's What's happening? <laughs> Who are you? Sarah goes to New York and gets replaced by like a body snatcher version. Right. I'm like, oh, weird. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's quite a difference going from a midwinter's night dram. <laughs> How Joey is killing me with these football updates. <laughs> Every time. It's just so funny. I wow. like it. That's a, lot right. of, that's a lot of typing. It is. Oh, go Bears at 4, uh, Bears and 49ers at 4 p.m. Mm. Da bears. I'm not gonna lie. This is really good. No, it's really good. Perry, how do um, you feel? The bread pudding? It's fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Praise. Praise. <Yes. laughs> I love bread pudding. It's keeping me going right now. <laughs> I was on, just saying, on, uh, on. quite a switch going from the mid winter night dram high rye to the Jim Beam uh, low rye rye. But it is 90 proof, so it's a little bit more than the regular beam. But after a couple sips, uh, what do you think about it? It's very light. Mm-hmm. I mean, at, but of course, it, 90 proof. Oh, it goes well with this. It's, I mean, I know it's kind of thin, but it goes down easy. It does. And it's not like it's uh, lackluster in flavor. There is some stuff there. There's a little bit of nuttiness. A hint. Yeah, a hint. D H. I think if you started Phil. with this one, it would be much better than going after the things. Yeah, that, we should have uh, had this one earlier. Yeah, that, that we had. I still like it as a value rye. Yeah. Um, under twenty bucks. I really like the Knob Creek rye. Yeah, Knob Creek rye is definitely better. D H Silv two said, "If you marry a bourbon lover, can your engagement ring be just wood from a barrel, or do you still get stuck with a worthless diamond?" Um, great question. Uh, that's actually something we've been looking into. You can get a custom made wooden from a barrel engagement ring or wedding ring. You don't wear engagement rings. I never understood that. Like the woman is marked as claimed, but the man isn't. I kind of did. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I like it. I had a, um, like a Irish clotto ring. I oh, like, yeah. why do you not want to, everyone to know? Yeah. What are you hiding? Cause I'm a man. <laughs> All right. Um, Cause he's a man. I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get used to wearing a ring because I've never worn a, a ring for any period, ex, extended period or period amount of time. Wait, so you did wear a ring? I tried a uh, class ring. Oh. Yeah, for a while, but hmm. didn't really like it. Cooper 57M asked if the pappies are no. a prenup. <laughs> well, it's already open, so. Okay. Mark J. Goins asked, do you put nuts or raisins in your bread pudding? Nope. I, no. Chad says, nope, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> and Ryan H. said, those raisins out of my bread pudding and my cookies. I think chocolate chips would be good in this. No. Oh, yeah. With like an add chocolate to the sauce, maybe? No. No, he doesn't want it. This sauce is probably my favorite part. Uh, and Ryan H. said, other than Glencairn, what's your favorite glass? 
Uh, ooh, I Wait. like the Norlin, but the Tribeca's are nice for. Tribeca's are really nice. Um, and then yeah, the Norlin. And super chat. Yay, John. John. John says, "Merry Christmas to y'all and your families. Sending good vibes and cheers." <laughs> I added the cheers. To you, John. Cute. Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, bitter and jaded said, "Idea for a crowdfunded wedding present: buy a barrel distilled on their wedding day and bottle it for their tenth anniversary." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we approve. How many how many followers are you all up to now? Subscribers? Uh, I mean, literally, 15, if everyone six? donated a dollar, it could probably oh, it, it would, happen. It'd be a doable thing. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, a, that's when a, you put it that way. That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Oh, that sounds cool. All right. Did you tell them the recipe? No. Well, it's mm. made with cinnamon rolls. I can't remember it all off the top of my head. Oh, okay. The bourbon sauce is really the important part. Butter, <laughs> cream, brown sugar, cinnamon. Mm. Ah, Chris. Wow. Doug. 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 Merry Christmas, and I hope you feel better, Sarah. <laughs> Thank <slaps> you. <laughs> Honestly, this is helping. I don't know it what. Is. Somebody's keeping my energy up over here, so. <laughs> But I'm burning up. Merry Christmas, yeah, and hope you all feel better, Sarah. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Doug. Jason asked, what's a town branch barrel uh, cost? Ooh. About a dollar fifty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna need tree fitting. We're shedding the layers. We're shedding the layers. Joseph and again! Joseph! Gum. He likes the glasses! He likes the at its bourbon night glasses from whiskeyambitions.com. That's not the cowbell. That's a bottle. That's a bottle. Thank you, Joseph. And for the plug. Um, we've actually got, speaking of that, we have- We just uh, got new glasses. New glasses um, and replenished some stocks of our charcoal shirt with the white uh, lettering. Yeah, and it's we so also, charcoal, it's almost black. <laughs> yeah, and we now also have a gray shirt mm -hmm. with the black logo on there. It needs to go up on the site. Like, yeah, that'll be up on the site soon. Soon, yeah. like today. Or something. We'll figure it Hopefully out. Hopefully today, yeah. Fingers so, crossed. Whiskeyambitions.com. Uh, Ozzy Chris asked if uh, we had had any of the Bourbon Mafia picks. He said I they're really good. I personally haven't, but I have heard good things. I, I think I, I think I have, like, maybe, you know, like Christmas parties and stuff where people bring bottles. I've never owned one, but I'm sure I've had them here and there. Hmm. Mark says, when asked about which glass is our favorite, he was wondering why we didn't mention our glasses. Well... Well, yeah, rocks glass. I mean, yes, we love our glasses, but it's just a rocks glass. I mean, mm -hmm. not a whole mm -hmm. lot of change there, but right. um, <clears throat> we have Glenn here. It's coming, which will be fun. Mm. How do you say that? Lauren, Lauren Soft, Soft 3. Lauren Soft 3. Cheers. Cowbell cheers to you. <coughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Mr. Oh. Bill says they're out of rocks glasses at the moment. Sad face. We literally just got a shipment in, yeah. but we tried a new etching style because it's just... You know, we're just still learning what we like. Merchandisers, we are not. Um, but anyway, so it looks just a touch different, so we're just gonna take a picture, a new picture of that, but we've Yeah, got... it's more like these, it's more white. It's a deep etch. Deep um, etch. And it's just- It's it real classic. Stands out a little bit more. And it's, it's, it's a little nice. bit little bit bigger in the logo. Yeah, so we'll take a picture of that, get up on the site, replenish that stock, and uh, it'll be fun. I'm really happy with my life decisions to make the spread pudding. Oh yeah. I mean, you haven't made it in a while. I, I haven't made it. It's been about a year. <laughs> Does it get the Tofamatic said, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Spare Bear get the uh, the approval? I thumbs get up the, from the two thumbs up approval. Two thumbs up. Spare Bear two paw th approval. Two th <laughs> <laughs> five pairs out of ten bears. Wait, no, five bears. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, right. so I'll... <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. Um, I will post that recipe on our Patreon page, and I'll go ahead and make it public so anybody can can look at it. Because I feel like this is a recipe that should be shared. Um, well, and we're also going to eventually do a video. We actually did a video. A long time ago. A long ago. time ago, and it was our first foray into the overhead, uh, you know, like, tasty video. Like, yeah. And we didn't so much like the quality, and you know us. We don't put things out unless we love it, so. Yeah. We're gonna redo that. We will try that again. And have a baking or making with, I don't know what we call it. Baking and making with bourbon. Baking, cooking, making, bourbon. Boozy bourbon baking. I don't know. With Barra. Well, that's right. changed your name. No, I don't. <laughs> um, anyways, so, and someone else told me, I've heard two people say that I should do a cookbook, but one person said I should write a cookbook drunk. 
Like, and it's all about using bourbon, but like, I think the first step to every recipe would be like, pour yourself a large bourbon. I think it should be handwritten too. So you can see yeah. just your handwriting getting just bigger getting, and messier. Ugh. And then add one fourth of, hey, you owe me money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like I type it, but then while I'm actually doing the recipe, like I make drunken notes on it. Like, be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, you will spill this. <laughs> yeah, you will spill this. Pay attention. Yeah. Exactly. I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, and then at the end Just of it, I'll pizza. be drunk and we'll take yeah, we'll take our picture. It'll be funny. Yeah, Cooper, you would buy that. Recipes from Sarah, Sarah with an H. Sarah with an H, yeah. <laughs> Put in oven for forty-five minutes. In meantime, order jets. <laughs> <laughs> or go to Wendy's. Yeah, it's or true. make chat. <laughs> go to Wendy's. Call Grubhub and have them deliver Wendy's. My drunk kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> drunk kitchen. I like that. Um, I feel like we can make this a thing. Let's do it. Let's I feel do like it. that would be fun. Yeah. I'd like to do gig. it. Yeah. Seriously, I'd have to go to book signings. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can commit to that. <laughs> Open another scottle of botch. <laughs> <laughs> the ages for hangover. That is no truer word has ever been spoken. <laughs> That's what it's for. Yeah. I turned into that, but the age is coming, and it's the hangover. Uh, my so. drunk kitchen is already uh, already a thing. No. Shoot. That's right. Oh yeah, I didn't like a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Something like that. I don't, I don't know, know if it's called that, but it, that's basically the premise. Side-by-side -side comparisons of when sober Sarah makes a recipe versus when drunk Sarah makes it. <laughs> well, the presentation is what suffers. It's when, that, it really when does. When you get uh, drunk mm -hmm. Sarah. I just slap it on a plate. I'm like, eat it. I don't eat care. Eat it. It'll taste the same. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, we have run through our supply of, of uh, drinks. We still have a little bit of our, uh, actually a lot of bit of our hot toddy over here. I'm still working on this. Oh yeah, well Perry's got a little, uh, he's got a, a couple. <laughs> I've right. got a couple of goodies. We're gonna do extra innings because Ooh. it's it's Christmas. Christmas. I brought I, I brought some goodies. Um, well, let's let's talk about what's on the oh, table first. No, 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 no. I, um, I'm gonna be off camera talking about this, I guess. Um, <laughs> but do I have a fever? <laughs> no. no, I don't think so. I'm just so hot. Yeah. So Chad and, I, studio lights. Chad and I had this on my live stream this week. This was my celebratory pour for getting into the house. Um, this is a pre Look at this out of focus bottle. It's a pre-fire Heaven Hill bottle and bond. Um, our buddy CJ also gave me a housewarming gift of a pre-fire fighting cock age stated. Oh. Six oh. years. Six years fighting cock. And then oh, oh, Stephen Jackson. Um, hey, Stephen Jackson. Everybody wants Cedar, Cedar Ridge. Ridge. They do. Yeah. It's downstairs. Oh, yeah, it's all, all the way down there. Um, all the way in the basement. Whoa, that Ooh. was a loud one. I'm it surprised was. I didn't break that glass. And then I brought this because um, this was gifted to me by one of my patrons. Um, the rumor has been going around, and I did not know about it until Swan discussed it, but apparently some of the rare breed from this year features... 15 year old turkey juice in some of its blends. What? And. Is it like getting a golden ticket? Do we just have to start <laughs> buying them and opening them? Well, there's a laser code specific oh. to it, too. And this bottle was sent to me by Adam Terry, who I think is also one of your yeah. all's patrons, too. Mm -hmm. um, and this is one of those that apparently has 15 year turkey juice in it. Well, well, well. So. You didn't have to bring me a Christmas present. <laughs> I didn't get you anything. That's okay. Um, so any and all are on the table to be had. What do you guys think? What you guys want? Let us know. Let us know. <clears throat> Travis said it's also worth the trip to the basement. <laughs> to Tofamatic said shwing. <laughs> I, I do want to try it, but I'm debating because I feel like my taste buds are weird today. Right, sure. And I probably only have like one decent pour left in me at this point. Gotcha. So it's you got my some turkeys. Time. Chris is asking me to whip out the 1894. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. He was asking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicholas said, send Perry to the basement. Send Perry. He wouldn't know where to go. There's so many options down there. There are. Yeah. It's only yeah. rooms. I would want to get, I'd have to draw you a treasure map. It would be a long thing. <laughs> rare breed, rare breed, rare breed. Like rare breed. It's a lot of rare breed. A lot of rare breed. What's the code? Troy wants to know. LL well, slash GC. Yeah, this one is LL GC 290645. So what you really need to look we'll for is the Cedar Ridge on the next one. How's that? There you go. Next weekend. All you Iowans come back. Yeah, oh, but it is brought to you by them. 
The Iowans? This episode is sponsored by the Iowans. You're not kidding. It's true. Should, hmm. you, should I go down and... No. Why don't you tag in? Tag, a, tag in. You want me to tag in yeah. over there? Yeah. Okay, great. It'll oh, just geez. be me up here. Oh, that was a weak it, That was, was weak. I'm it sorry. Was. That was just awful. Yeah. I have all the power now. I can end this stream whenever I want to. <gasps> don't. I'm just do kidding. That. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. While he's gone, what that. should we do? Um, would you like a little pre fire? Oh, yeah. I was hoping <laughs> you would say that. Um, well, I've had this with Chad already this week. The Heaven Hill. Because he was over for my live stream. <sighs> I feel like I was cheated on, honestly. <laughs> You were in New York. I know. You were having a Just good because time. I'm in another zip code doesn't make it okay. <laughs> Look, my ring was on the entire time. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll let it go. So do you want to go with this or do you want to go with the... No. Okay. Okay. I want that. Okay. Um, someone said... I need a glass. What's Perry's channel? Oh, you need a glass? Uh, yeah, is... it's uh, youtube.com slash this is my bourbon podcast, but then you can also find my podcast, this is my bourbon podcast, uh, pretty much wherever podcasts are found wherever you find podcasts so, yeah chad came back before i was able to pour some of the <sighs> sorry but i'm in now so i'm just yeah, gonna you're, you're in i mean i can sit over here <laughs> you don't have to just want a little just a touch okay okay just i can get on the touch. mic there you go so uh thank you though for interest in my channel and my show as well that means a lot yeah I'm happy, to the, happy to be uh, here. The Cedar Ridge Iowa Bourbon Whiskey. Is that what we want? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. We have a malted rye whiskey. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? Which one? <sighs> We've had a lot of rye today. True. So you want to do the rye? This is okay. very interesting. It's very different. Very different. Yeah. When Chad and I had it on Tuesday night, we both were kind of under the impression that the nose was not as good as what today's had to go and bottom. Agreed. It has a, like a lot more depth, but, but in a funky I'm not way. sure if it's a, yeah, it's a funky depth. Honestly, I kind of like it though. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it won't be in for, yeah. <laughs> We're on a delay here, folks. Okay, we're good now. Palette-wise, though, what you think? I don't know. <laughs> Again, that was kind of how we were. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Gene says, I'll be wearing my new It's Bourbon Night t-shirt at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. <gasps> hey yo. Can we just get a group of people in It's Bourbon Night shirts? <laughs> yes, let's flash mob One the One giant picture... And we could do a flash mob. You thought that um, Whiskey Vault was cult. Yeah. And now this sounds like you're starting your own cult. Yeah. Okay. No, when I said that, <laughs> it was okay a compliment. Okay. I want my own cult. Totally not a cult. All right, Chad's coming back it's in, so cult. I'll tag, tag back out. Um, tag. See you, Tofomatic. Bye, Tofomatic. Mm. Lots of movement on the set today. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> it's funky. It is. I think it's still enjoyable. It's got a though. little dried fruit to it. Mm -hmm. well, a little toasty. Here. Yeah. Um. Hey, Tofamatic just subscribed to me. <laughs> Yay. Me too. Thanks, Tofamatic. So, the decision has been made. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the, uh, the Cedar Ridge Malted Rye Whiskey. Instead of the rye? Well, we can do both, I guess. <laughs> but it's this Christmas. I'm down. Episode is brought to you by the Iowans. Yes, it is. So, um, let me give you the specs. This is batch number sixteen. It's bottle number one eight five five or S five. <laughs> Some with messy handwriting. Uh, Hopefully, it wasn't Travis. Jeez, just insult the man. <laughs> it's eighty six percent small batch malted rye whiskey. Brought to you by the Hawkeye State. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeez. You didn't see nothing. I didn't hear nothing. You didn't see nothing? Don't didn't see say anything. nothing. Yeah. That's really funny. Um, oh dear. Oh, it's fine. Just get it later. Okay. That's not going to work out for him. 
Is that a... His OCD is like, must put... Oh, he's out of water and... Oh. Okay. I thought you were going to get that. I'll get it later. I'm cleaning. It's all okay. Good. Oh, okay. Um... Pass me some bottles. Well, now you gotta finish it, Steven Jackson said. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Said my I need a nap. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna take one. Perry? Oh, yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I was getting caught up on comments. Ooh. There you are. What Many is thanks, Sleepy sir. Sarah called? Not with an H. She's Shawa. Because <laughs> she's sweepy. I don't know. You I sound like Linda like from that. Bob's Burgers. Yeah, true. Ooh, wow. This is like citrus. Yeah, very like citrus. Yeah. Citrus and clove. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon. Lemon and clove. Orange and clove. Ooh. Rip Van Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ten oh. summers in the wood. All right. Can I be asleep for ten summers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I love sleep. I would still wake up tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hey, it's pretty refreshing. Oh, he said try to let it sit a minute after trying it to let it open up. Okay. Wow. It's good. It's so, pretty good. It's so light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So citrus. I do still kind of get a little bit of a woodsy note to it. Yeah, me too, but it's like, yeah, it's very citrusy. Is this citrusy. Swisher, Iowa? Is that how you say it? I thought you were going to say, like, it says to swish it. I'm yeah. like, mm, I'm not going to do that. Swisher? Yeah, Swisher? that's what it says. Yeah. Is that right? <clears throat> you were tilting that far. Eh, I know what I'm doing. I'm on the internet. <laughs> <clears throat> um... Well, while we let it sit, do we want to do the rare breed? I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's not going to be a fair back and yep. forth. I'm yep. just yep. telling you that. Yep. But yes. uh, I can get another glass. Okay. The age is for heavy eyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard to stay awake after that bread pudding. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I did kind of. I got a little sleepy. Plus bourbon. Plus yeah. bourbon. Plus bourbon. Yeah. Philip Rogers said, I need to buy a bottle of bourbon for a client. Budget about $150. Any suggestions that I can actually find? Um, when you're talking about something to impress in that price range, that is findable. We always go to the uh, Wild Turkey Master's Keep collection. Yeah, the box is really nice. Because uh, you, you already have a box, so it's already like a gift box. Um, if you can find the Decades, I think that's, that's one of the best ones. Mm. And... You can find those. They're not flying off the shelf, mm -hmm. but they are good juice, good story. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, for that sort of gift and range, um, a lot of people gravitate towards Jefferson's Ocean because uh, it's available, and it's about 100 bucks, and um, the story is what really, like, people love that story, and I think it's a cool gift. Um, some people are into it. Some people aren't. That's fine. I think it's a great tasting product. They're not not into it because they don't think it's good. They're not into it because they think it's just marketing. Yeah. Um, which is not true. <clears throat> Something definitely the happens out there. Something yeah. happens. And it's a fun little story that you can tell and like makes it a, a really cool gift. So try that. So again, Perry has told us that the rumor is with this laser code, there is some 15 year yes. wild turkey blended um, into this rare breed. Which is 116.8 proof, yep. Knob Creek 25th is also a good option. <clears throat> yeah. That's harder to find now, at least around here, I feel like. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. It's good, but too hot for I think right I've now? had too much. <laughs> okay. You've gone too far. Do you see though? Like it, it has some kind of, it has something to it that does seem to indicate that it has older juice in there. For sure. And this is what I've kind of discovered all year long with turkey. I mean, especially 101, I've gotten back to back bottles that have had this really interesting, almost like almond butter note that I've never noticed before. Yeah. And I kind of get that in this a little bit. Mm hmm. 
but, yeah. but this is, <laughs> it seems to be above and beyond what we normally have mm -hmm. with Rare Breed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have to try it side by side with our bottle, and also, I also want to check the laser code to see. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it is fantastic. Um, is that always there? Mm, I think so. It is. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, it just tastes more mature than you think it than it should, and it's uh, it's lovely. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Sarah mm -hmm. just had to tap out. I, I gotta tap out. Yep. No shame mm -hmm. in the game. Bye. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> tap very back oh, in. Oh, you literally tapped out. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought Is it you were okay? Just... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Is it okay with you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Goodbye. Since you're Love you guys. going, would you? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So we're gonna finish oh. out the show with Perry here. Everyone wish Sarah uh, a, Merry a uh, yeah, and f to feel better. She's a little under the weather. If you weren't here from the beginning, she's fighting off something. It was such a trooper. But thanks for Perry for being here. Of course. To, uh, tag in and out. And, it was kind of a surprise. And help us. And uh, now I gotta sit up, so it looks like we're the same height. <laughs> I'm taller than you, though. Barely. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. A little bit. <laughs> No, it's really good. It's, it's good. fantastic. It's really good. And it has all of that kind of classic turkey flavor to turkey it. Turkey taste. But it does just kind of seem to go a little bit beyond. Mm. I'm mm. going to save a little bit of it for the, yeah. for the end, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitch said Perry's the best pinch hitter in the league. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were on NFL today. I'm the best. <laughs> Is there a pinch hitter in what, what's the equivalent of the pinch hitter in the NFL? Uh, special teams? No, that wouldn't be right. That's uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just really. like second string? I guess so. Of course. Yeah, well. Back up I, back up quarterback. TT's blues corner wishes Sarah to feel better. And that cowbell sound was definitely too loud. No, it definitely will make her feel better. <laughs> She loves the cowbell. She has a sleep machine that's just cowbell. Oh, gosh. Just going. So now we're back to our Cedar Ridge malted rye whiskey. We've let it kind of open up here in the glass. Still has some of the citrus in. Oh, for sure. Um, clove notes but now it's kind of introducing like a maple flavor mm -hmm. too i would say actually i'm i'm impressed at how well it stood up going right after this rare breed yeah, i thought because i thought it was going to destroy it oh i do too but it, it's, it's a rye food. and it's different enough that it's uh apples and oranges especially oranges sure. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy um no i i i do like this this is enjoyable i do too i and i of course, didn't really have any knowledge about this product going into it, so I didn't, you know, have any, like, preconceived notions about what it was going to be like. So, you know, you and I have talked about recently, too, on the show, about how you kind of missed the days when you were able to walk into a store and go, oh, I've never had that before. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that's like. Yeah. This is that for me right now, because I've never heard of or yeah, had it before. Yeah, I, I mean, and you can do that with now craft distillers and there sure. seems to be labels popping up all the time sure. and then it's buyer beware it's like oh i haven't had that before but is it gonna suck <laughs> so it's refreshing to find one that doesn't suck <laughs> <laughs> and this doesn't it's yeah. uh it's good yeah absolutely it's good. i'd recommend it uh mr bill said perry's too first class to be second string <laughs> well um, <laughs> okay wow <laughs> all right Man, first I was the Raj of its bourbon night, and now, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the questionable tag in. No, I'm not. I, know. I mostly just am doing it now because it was it's funny to see how you react. Mm -hmm. but, um, DH Sill said uh, Perry might be a Kurt Warner. <clears throat> he might not give up the starting spot. There Kurt, you go. Kurt, Kurt Warner in the NFL? Probably. Okay, I don't know. Sure. Anyway, so thank you for that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, this is good. Um, yeah. I think we've. We've really gone through just about everything, except the the fighting cock. But um, that's too far away it's, now. It's it's we've gone too far. We've gone too far, and we don't want to make this one like a uh, a movie length live show. We're inching that way. <laughs> yeah, this is almost a major motion picture. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a trailer for it and everything. 
So we will probably wrap it up here. If anyone else has any words of wisdom to uh, leave everyone on their, uh, hopefully their holiday vacation, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. We'll give you a couple seconds. Oh, Nicholas you're... said Perry Plot in a bourbon night takeover. <laughs> it's been my dream all along. <laughs> Slowly. He's the one who made Sarah sick. <laughs> Put something in her drink. He slipped her a Mickey. Mm. Oh, we had two different things. Oh, well. Mm, yeah, that rare breed was real good. <laughs> What'd you have? I had the rest of the Cedar Ridge. Oh, okay. Which is still really good, though. Yeah, it is. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Wow good stuff all yes, right sir. well um you already gave uh told everyone where they can find you and all that uh, uh aside from social media philip yeah philip oh the, uh, philip thanks for the recommendation well thank you for the super chat cheers to you kind sir uh the only thing i haven't said is you can follow me on social media at my, at my bourbon pod <laughs> and yeah. then jose too it is kind of nutty jose yeah rare breed well he just gave no me chat nutty too. squad <laughs> There we go. Cheers. Nighty Squad represent. Um, but the just to kind of recap to youtube.com slash this is my bourbon podcast is where you can find not just uh, every episode of the show, but also live streams every Tuesday night and then some bonus content here and there. But then if you want to actually listen to the podcast on a podcast platform, we're on Apple, Google, Spotify, Stitcher, basically anywhere you get your, your podcast. So Please come check it out. These guys are on quite a bit as well. You all were on a couple weeks ago, too, I think. We were, and but Steven Jackson wants more Jackson. cowbell. <sighs> Sarah's never going to be able to go to sleep. There was plenty of it right there. Oh, and that was a cheers. Sorry. <laughs> cheers to you, <laughs> Steven. Thank you so much. Uh, and bourbonshop.threadless.com is where you can find uh, all of my merch and apparel and all that stuff. I'm not wearing one of my shirts today, but you'll see it. But you are wearing a shirt. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know all of, all of our stuff. Uh, again, whiskeyambitions.com. We got some uh, some replenish on our glasses. Glenn Karen's on the way. And a new Bourbonite shirt that picture isn't up at this moment. But if you're watching the replay, it probably is. Um, and uh, forgot to say at the beginning because we were so befuddled by starting it off on the wrong foot <laughs> about the uh, timestamps down below, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter now because you're at the end. <laughs> matter now. We're at the end. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have hit those timestamps down there in the pinned yeah, comment. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks uh, for moderating and co hosting, Perry. Absolutely. Thank you, Chad. My pleasure. Uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. We hope you have a lovely, lovely holiday and you have some great pours shared with family and friends. Until then, drink more bourbon. And now I go over here and find the stop button. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Bye, guys.